Hi guys, welcome back to Dibs on Half. Today, if you can't tell by the title, we're making some black bean taquitos. And they are quick, they're easy, and they're healthy. So if you want to see how I make those, just keep watching. Oh yeah, and if you're not subscribed, please go hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss my videos because I'm hitting every country and who knows what I'm going to make next. Today is going to be onion, bell pepper, lime, jalapeno, garlic clove, avocado, cilantro, cooking spray, a can of black beans, paprika, coriander, black pepper, cumin, red pepper flakes, chili powder, oregano, salt, or if you want taco seasoning instead of all of those seasonings, if you want to make it much easier for yourself, a bag of flour tortillas, and that's it. So first things th first, we're gonna chop up the onion. Now, I'm just gonna make enough taquitos for myself today, which is about four, so I'm probably only gonna use half a can of the beans. So I only need probably about a quarter of a large onion. So we're just gonna dice up this onion real quick and easy style. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm gonna move this onion off to the side and I'm gonna now dice up the jalapeno. If you don't like spicy food, of course you do not have to put the jalapeno in there. I just have one in the house, so I guess I'll just use it up. Also, I have a red pepper here. I don't always put the red pepper in because I don't always have a red pepper. But I seem to always have black beans and tortillas. And honestly, if you really wanted to, you that's all you really need. You could just use onion powder. Sometimes I do that. But I usually always have an onion in as well. So I'm just going to cut this into strips. And I'm not using the whole pepper. I'm just using just like one side of it. You know, like a uh, bell pepper kind of looks like a square, so like one side of it. I'm just gonna dice that on up as well. Move it to the side. And now I got the garlic clove. Gonna Mince this garlic, super fine. I love garlic. Garlic is so good for you. Like I said, this meal is While I have the cutting board out, I might as well just chop everything up. So I'm gonna do a half an avocado for the topping part of it. Slice it, and a little trick with avocados, if you don't know, if you don't wanna use the whole avocado, save the, the half that still has a seed in it because the seed helps it from turning brown on you. If you didn't know, now you know. So I'm just gonna slice this up here, set that to the side, and I might as well cut up my lime. Now, the lime 
time is just a little garnish to squeeze over the top at the end. So I'm just going to cut it into halves. Save this half for later. Maybe put, put it in my gin and tonic. Oh. Mm. Does anybody else like to drink and cook at the same time and just have like a good old time by yourself? Because that's what I like to do. I'm also going to cut up the cilantro. So I just, I know, I know there's probably a better way to do this, but I don't really want the cilantro stem. So I always just do the cilantro like this. It takes a little bit extra time, but whatever. What, what else am I doing today? I'm not doing nothing. It's a beautiful day out though. It's like 90 degrees in Wisconsin, which is great. Summer is still here. Even though I got pumpkin creamer yesterday at the grocery store, I saw it and I had to have it. It's so freaking good, you guys. You, If you don't have, even if you do drink dairy, you should get it. Let me just show you. Obsessed, you guys, obsessed. Look at this. So freaking good. Literally the best pumpkin flavored um, coffee creamer I've ever had, plant-based or not plant-based, just in general. It is amazing. Okay, back to business. Cilantro! I feel so bad for all you guys out there who think cilantro tastes like soap. That is a sad, sad, I can't even imagine thinking cilantro or like having cilantro taste like soap in my mind. Like that would just be a tragedy to me because I just love it. So now I got a pan heating up here. God damn it. I bought this pan and it already has a little scratch in it. Well anyways, so I got my pan heating here. I'm probably about medium heat. I'm gonna pour some olive oil in there. And then we are going to throw in the onion, jalapeno, and the bell pepper. And we're just gonna cook this down till it's soft and translucent. So it's probably gonna take about 10 minutes here. Already starting to smell delightful in here. You know why I love this pan? It's an easy flipper. It kind of looks like a walk. Just give a little flippity flip. So this seems like it's pretty translucent. Gonna add a little bit more olive oil. And then I'm also gonna add the garlic now. And watch out, cause this is gonna smell so good. Get every little morsel of that garlic. I'm actually gonna add some pepper and some salt because I just like to season every ingredient along the way so I know it has the flavor I'm looking for. Because vegetables by themselves are good, but once you add salt and pepper, it just like kicks it up a notch. So I just do that with everything along the way. For most things. So this seems like it's pretty much done. I'm gonna turn it off. And I'm just gonna set it off to the side and I'm gonna work on my black beans now. Can of black beans, just gonna use half. So I'm going to want to open this up and then right away, I'm just gonna put half in the fridge. Can of black beans. And I just leave them in the can and just put water and just kinda like dump it. Cause you're just gonna wanna rinse these out. You don't want all that bean juice in your taquitos. No bueno. Just until the water starts running clear. So we have the beans in a bowl and you're gonna need a fork. And then I'm choosing to just do simple style today and use already mixed up taco mix instead of making my own. Sometimes, you know, you just want something quick and easy and you don't wanna spend all day making it. And this is one of these recipes that I always go to when I want something like that, that I just don't have to think about and I could just do it real quick. Jesse likes it. It 
tastes good and there's literally no animal products in here so it actually makes me feel better about the meal and it's just freaking delicious like who doesn't like taquitos they're always fun so you're just gonna want to squish it down just mush these beans right up and I know it's gross to eat a bean right out of the can without cooking it first but I I always taste a little bit because you don't want the taquitos to be gross like you want them to be salted enough seasoned enough add a little bit more and then I'm also just gonna add a tiny little dash or squirt of olive oil just to get it a little bit moist and help the squishing of it A little bit salt, a little pepper, there you go, and now we're going to add all of the vegetables we just cooked up. And this is going to add a lot, a lot of flavor to the beans. You want to get this very well incorporated, all mushed together. Push it off to the side with everything else. Get a little drinky poo. Now, we're going to get out the tortillas. And I got a little pan. Don't judge my pan. I've used it a lot. So I got my pan here and I got the cooking spray and I'm just gonna spray this down like so. Get a little tortilla. And then we're just gonna stick a little bit on here like so. So you're just gonna wanna stick it right in the center because when it cooks, it does sometimes come out the ends if you stick too much. So don't stick like a crazy amount because you know taquitos are thin little guys so there you go just roll it on up and just stick it on the pan and we're gonna do another one here real quick you see how quick this is you just stick it in the middle kind of roll it and once you do a couple of these you will get the hang of it if you're not good at rolling Okay, once you have all the taquitos rolled up all nice, you wanna take your cooking spray. I don't even know if I have enough. Yep, it's coming out. And you're gonna to wanna to spray it down because this helps. Oh, I ran out, oh no! So I'm just gonna take my olive oil and just drizzle it on the top. And then just wipe it on there because what the oil does is crisp up the tortilla shell because if you don't do this, it kind of gets no color on it and you're gonna want a little color. So we're gonna stick this in an oven that's set at 425 for 10 minutes and then we will flip them. While that's cooking, I'm just going to toss the avocado in a bowl. Add a little bit of the cilantro here. Give a little lime and kind of stir that around. Just gonna add a couple grams of pepper and a little bit of salt. And just kind of squish it a little bit around, mush it up a little bit. So now we're in the oven. And we're just gonna flip them over. And you see how they browned up a little bit? On that side. And put them back in for 10 more minutes. Got the taquitos out the oven. Look at how beautiful they are. are looking good and now I'm just gonna throw the guac or avocado it's not really guac 
right on top as well as the cilantro and the lime I also put hot sauce this is my favorite brand if you haven't tried it go try it it's so good most places don't have a black label it's the extra hot but I found this guy give a little sprinkling you know what I'm just gonna indulge myself and put sour cream I love sour cream it's so freaking good thanks so much for watching go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos because look at this 